So now let's discuss our hot topic this week. Since the pandemic, we have been hearing everyone, we've been hearing from everybody that everybody wants to work remotely, right? Mm -hmm. And perhaps that's not true. A steamy new survey has revealed that a staggering number of U.S. workers have hooked up with someone on the job. Adult toy brand Love Honey polled 2017 American adults about their love lives and found a whooping 40% of respondents admitting that they have had sex and or a romantic relationship with a co-worker. Shockingly, 11% admitted that they got kinky with a colleague while they were in a relationship with someone else, and 9% of those were married. All right. While those stats might not surprise some, relationship expert Dr. Jessica O'Reilly says there are obvious reasons why coworkers are drawn to one another. What could be, you know, what could be these reasons? Well, this week's hot topic is a new survey says 40 percent of all male workers have had sex at work. Have you? All right. So, you know. Let's okay. So it's it's Christmas time. It's December, right? So everybody has their holiday party the now, and then that person bring comes without the wife or comes without the husband and gets a couple drinks in them. All of a sudden, that guy in the office that you've always thought was cute wants to have a little dance with you, and some things happen. That's a that's the reason why a lot of people have canceled and not had holiday parties because things happen between their employees, and it's hard to mix up that bowl of shit that happens when you sleep with your coworker. Oh, it's a that's huge HR issue. Drawn. It's a huge HR issue, right? That's why you can't be grown as fuck and just leave that. Like, you yeah. do it and don't talk about it. You're right. You don't talk to anybody about it. But you got to ruin it for everybody. I yeah. definitely, I've had experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was single, um, I had sex with my boss. Um, they are no, they moved on. I used to sing at the Florida Grand Opera, and we had a, a holiday event type of thing. And you had a holiday event. I had a holiday event <laughs> with my maestro, mm -hmm. and it was the it was super fun and casual and we left at that and never talked about it again it, it was like a fun little like secret like a just a little wink that i used to get while i was in you know yeah. on stage. but um yeah people tend to take it further they ruin relationships they bring it up to another co-worker in the office and that's when people start to talk and you can get fired essentially for something right. like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely not. It's frowned upon. You just gotta do it the right you gotta, way. You got Yeah. You yeah, have to do it right without way. talking, without without being yeah. a big mouth and talking shit about it. The reality is that you're at work sometimes more than you are at yeah. home. But we spend so much you know? time with and our so, coworkers. And so you know, exactly. and I don't know about you know you boys, but I mean I've heard everybody say, oh my work wife, my work husband, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's got their wife, their work wife, their work husband. That's my different. work, you know, you know my work husband is David Hopkins, and look exactly. how sexy is how he is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. So you have who you have, who you work with, and who who knows your shit inside and out, right? And then sometimes that gets confused because like you really like this person, but they're your coworker, yeah. you know. So, but, but you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't eat where you shit. You know what is it? You don't. You don't, you don't, you don't eat where you shit. Yeah, you don't yeah. eat where you, you shit. You like that's shit a, where you eat. That's a bad that idea. Eat, but, right. So <laughs> I, I can, in my many moons. So this was a very targeting. Oh, how did we triggering for me? Oh my god. When you were masuing. No. Masuing? <laughs> is that a term? No, no. I'll, no. I'll, I'll share with you, you know, my, my life and sex and, and, and how, but I remember thinking, I had to think about this in preparation for this, this, this part of the segment. And I remember as a young adult playing with a, a woman in a car because we were, we just got off work. She couldn't go home. She was married. I was, and I was, I was like loving the thrill. And so we're being outside of a parking lot, outside of a building, a abandoned building, and playing in a car. And then I also remember being a professional and playing with my boss or co soon to be colleague. We were equal levels. And then how all of those things can either mess up, mm. especially if someone get win, or if someone thinks that you would now have too much favoritism, and then they, they throw a wrench in it, and then throw the throw the thing that they they're sexing each other, and then HR gets involved, and then that messes the whole gamut up of situations. Mm -hmm. Um, and how that can people lose his job? Yeah. Really, but people, that's why you gotta stay quiet. And, like and John you, said. you gotta stay quiet. But the thing is, you can't also can't wink. You like you gotta really. But then people get jealous because you don't get that that attention. Like I don't get that raise, so you automatically sleeping together, especially if they think that you're gay, mm. which is which yeah, is a misnomer. No, that, that's all sticking. Mm. Now, let me tell you something. I'm in HR. I've been in HR 15 years now. Um, HR people are the worst. HR people are sicker than <laughs> every other employee. In that motherfucking company, <laughs> first hand I can tell you. Okay. But it is very true about talking and spreading that and mm -hmm. acting as as if it happened. You can no longer talk about it. One thing I will say: the best scenario, and now this could sound really fucked up. The best scenario is when those two people are married, have a family, and do not want to leave their partners. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because they know what's at risk, so they're having fun. And they you, stay the fuck quiet. 
And they stay quiet. Absolutely. And they stay quiet. Because they're both, and that's it. There's a, there is risk yeah. for, on both sides. Yeah, yeah. And you don't even look, and you don't even wink, no, you just keep it moving. No, but that's it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I also slept with a coworker, and that's when I was doing overnights, right? And that's the best time to do it. So you're doing it, you're having sex in the studio. Like at work. Of a radio station, yeah. at work, like during, <laughs> let me play that next song. Hold on, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ass is on the, con- okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Like that, you know? But again, it's like, nobody's going to talk about that shit. And with girls, we're easier to dissimulate, right? Because girls can be on each other, and it's not like, yeah. You know, like they're not effing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where we were just normal colleagues uh, the rest of the time, and nobody would ever know that I was slapping that ass. You know. So again, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, women are better at staying quiet when it comes oh, to that kind of stuff, which is why we don't get caught when we're cheating as much as boys absolutely. do. So if you're gonna do it, be discreet, be discreet right? Yeah. Until and you make, get hurt. And make sure that everybody's on the same page. Yes. And don't fall in love. Don't, don't fall, fall in love, love. Yeah. Okay, until you get hurt. Time. Don't yeah. fall in love because then you then yeah. Yep. Don't the moment fall in you get hurt, then diarrhea them out. It's like boosh. How about you, Cal? Cal, have you? slept with anyone at work <laughs> so like you said i have had experiences um <laughs> at previous uh workplaces um no you're gonna say now i'm like remote no, I'm like, what's going on remote yeah remote with myself <laughs> well i i had done i had done a, a lunchy but, cookie a computer challenge remotely yeah no definitely with some co-workers no one that was like a supervisor or like an employee of mine but you know we were like on the same page you know and it was yeah. definitely like a conversation that we had like you know, that we both were on the same page. You I both think want that's, this. That's it. That's key. You know, yeah. like, yeah. and it wasn't while I was in a relationship, you know, but, you know, I just, it, things happen. Like yeah. mm-hmm. I said before, you know, you spend so much time with your coworkers. Yeah. Like, they do become your, your work wives and your work husbands. We spend more time with our colleagues than we do with mm-hmm. our own family and friends sometimes. So, you know, things happen at but work. Wait, what was the question? Are we, pr- we want to be remote? Or no, no, no. Have we have we been hooking up at, at oh. work? Just yeah. that's it. I, I, no, I, do we want to? Because I, I still want to be remote. I still want to do the I, show from my house. And I don't know I how. Don't be I, have still, I still have had sex in the office. Maybe not a, co- a colleague, but I still brought someone in. Grind is amazing. Like, if I'm in the office by myself and I'm like, hey. When you're remote, oh, it's even better. Oh, too many when you're remote, oh my gosh. Yes, cameras. absolutely. Look, a lunchtime, be here at 12. I'm, we're oh, going to knock it down and then send you on your way. There's too much security. I've done it during the I don't want it in my house. Just keep this part up. Oh, baby. Yeah, I've done it. Office. From the I, ring doorbell I, to like, <laughs> there's all there's there's a lot going on. No, I've done a yoga too much. A yoga, a yoga no. mat in the office, but no, nobody. Else is up. However, you're good. I, you, you can make right? it work. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. Everybody, picture it. <laughs> Sicily. All right.